Like in childhood, the toy cars were radio controlled. The principle is the same, only everything is big. Pavlo Grigorchenko, a former matching operator, and now he operates a radio controlled tractor. Today the task was to go through a field, an area of 200 hectares, remove weeds and at the same time check the territory for mines. To do this, the driver is not needed in the cab. Instead of him, there is a remote control, a display and equipment that provides communication with the tractor at a distance. Here is the display. We turn on the operating system in the tractor and start working. An image appears. If the image is lost, we turn a little antenna. So we have the same one on the tractor and we work. Well, again, the weather conditions. The wind is very strong. There is poor visibility over the landings. That is, it knocks down the signal. There we go by eye. In addition to electronics and navigation, the tractor was also re-equipped externally. The sides were sheathed from metal from a Russian infantry fighting vehicle and wooden beams. They attached movers from another unit and released them into the field. Almost immediately the tractor stumbled upon a mine barrier. They made the first 200 hectares and it exploded on anti-tank mine. The rollers were damaged. Look, it pulled out and the explosion went up. There were no people. Everyone is alive. Everyone is healthy. In a day we restored it and are ready for work. Winter wheat sprouted on this field in 2022, but the entire crop was lost due to the fact that a regular Russian army was stationed in the village, and no one was allowed into the field. Already after the liberation of the Kharkiv region, farmers had to burn wheat crops. It's a pity how much money, millions. Yes, such are the losses. In five days of work, the armored T-150 covered almost 500 hectares and there are almost 2,000 of them in the farm. This year, farmer hopes to sow and least half to pay shares to people. We need to work, we need to process, we need to pay people. This cannot be. There is a front there, and this is our front. You have to pay taxes, pay shares. You cannot stop, you cannot give up. The new version of the T-150 tractor cost the farmer almost $30,000. There is nothing to replace it, the director of the agricultural enterprise admits. The Russian military partially stole imported equipment and damaged domestic equipment. Therefore, the armored tractor is now the only warrior in the field. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Natalia Belokudria, UATV News.